let's say we have the fraction 2 fifths, and we're going to add that to the fraction 1 fifth. All right, so again, we have to have a common denominator in order to add any fractions or subtract them, and we have 5, which means in our answer, 5 will be in the denominator. Then we add the numerators, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 gives us an answer of 3 fifths, 3 on the top, 5 on the bottom. Now this is the final answer because we cannot simplify this. I cannot divide top and bottom by something to make it any simpler. So let's see if this makes any sense to us. Here I have my pizza wedges cut into fifths. There's two fifths, that's this amount of the pizza. And then I have one more fifth and I'm adding them together. And I'm saying that the answer to this is 3 fifths, which is you know, this. And that makes sense because if you start with this and you add this to it, of course, that's what you're going to get over there. And so that's three fifths, which is the final answer. Now we cannot simplify this anymore. So we just leave the answer in terms of the three fifths there. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. Let's say we have seven tenths and we'll subtract from that five tenths. Same thing, we're subtracting and we already have a common denominator, which is a 10. So the 10 actually just goes into the answer. In the numerator, 7 minus 5 is what we have. And so what is 7 minus 5? Go down, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So 7 minus 5 is 2, and then we have a 10. Now this is the answer. We could say that this is the answer. However, we can simplify this because we can divide the top and the bottom also by 2. We can divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. And what do we get here? 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we get one fifth and we cannot simplify that any further. Now let's make sure this problem makes sense to us. So what do we start with? We start with seven tenths. There's my pizza cut into tenths. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, uh, five tenths, there's six tenths, and there is seven tenths. So seven slices when they are cut into tenths. And then I'm subtracting one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, 5 tenths. So basically I'm starting with this amount of pizza and I'm taking away this much. So it would be like pulling away that much of the pizza. What do I have left? Only two slices left, which is what I already calculated. The answer should be two tenths of a pizza left. Start with this, take this away, and I'm only going to have these kind of these two slices left over here. Now, what we're saying is that that's exactly the same thing as one fifth here. So these two things are the answer, but the one fifth is simpler and it represents exactly the same amount of pizza. So we actually just say, and we prefer to write the answer as one fifth. All right, now this will be the last problem where we use our pictures here. Let's take a look at one twelfth and we'll add to that three twelfths. All right, we have a 12 in the denominator. So we just write 12 in our answer. And then one plus three in the numerator. What does that equal? Four on the top, 12 on the bottom. Now I could divide top and bottom by two, but I would have to divide it by two again because I would have a, something I could divide a two a second time. Instead of doing that, let's just divide by four because that is a little bit bigger number and I can divide top and bottom here again by four. So divide top by four, divide bottom by four. Four divided by four is uh, one. And 12 divided by four is, on the bottom we have uh, three. So the answer here is one third. One third of a pizza. Now let's see if this actually makes sense. We started out by saying that we had one twelfth of a pizza and we're adding to that three more slices when they're cut into twelfths, right? And what do we say? Of course, you put them together. What do you get? Four twelfths, which is what we said the answer was right here. One, two, three, and four twelfths. So you take this, you add it together, this is what you get. We're saying that that's exactly the same thing as one third of a pizza, all right? Which is, uh, means if we just double check it here, this of course lines up exactly. And this is just a simpler way to write the same amount of pizza. One slice when the pizza's cut into thirds. All right, so we have a few more problems, but we're not going to write or use the pictures anymore. They're very good here in the beginning, but we need to get practice with just cranking through the problems without doing the pictures. So that's what we're going to do next. Let's take a look at the fraction, 4 fifths, and we'll subtract the fraction 2 fifths. The denominator is the same, so 5 goes into our answer. 4 minus 2 is going to be in our answer. 4 minus 2. What is 4 minus 2? It's 2, and the bottom is 5. Answer is 2 fifths. We cannot simplify that any further, so we just say that that is the final answer, 2 fifths. All right, let's take a look at 3 fourths, and we'll subtract 1 fourth. 
Same story. We already have a common denominator, which is what? Four goes in our answer. Three minus one goes in the numerator. What is three minus one? It's two and then a four on the bottom. Now we can simplify that because we have, uh, we can divide both by two. Two fourths. We can divide the top by two and we can divide the bottom by two. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. And so the answer is one half. That is the final answer, fully simplified final answer. All right, we're past the halfway point. Let's take a look at two eighths and we'll add to that another two eighths. So we have eight and so that goes into our answer. We don't add them, we just carry it through. Two plus two, two plus two is equal to four on the top and eight on the bottom. Now we can simplify this by dividing top and bottom by four, four eighths. We can divide the top by what, four, and we can divide the bottom again by four. Four divided by four is one, and eight divided by four is two. And so the answer is one half, one half. Once you do this enough, it really gets to be second nature and just really easy. And that's why we're doing so many. I want it to be like that for you. So here we go with five ninths, add to it one ninth. The denominator is the same, so it just stays into the final answer. Then we have five plus one in our answer. Five plus one is what? Six ninths. Now that is the answer. Can we uh, simplify this? I think we can. Six ninths. We can divide top and bottom by what? We can divide this by three. We can divide this by three. Six divided by three is two, and nine divided by three is three. Now this is fully simplified. I cannot make that any simpler. So the answer to this addition problem is two thirds. All right, only three more problems. Let's take a look at uh, nine tenths, subtract away one tenth. Denominators are already the same. 10 goes in your final answer. Nine minus one in the numerator, which means I have an answer of eight tenths. Now, can I simplify that eight tenths? Yes, I can. I can divide top and bottom by what? By two. They're both even numbers. So divide this by two, divide this by two. Eight divided by two is four, and 10 divided by two is five. So the answer is four fifths. Now I cannot simplify that anymore. So that answer, final answer is four fifths. All right, we only have two more problems. Let's take a look at five six, and we're going to subtract one sixth. We have a six here. And I think by now we can just start to do the subtraction here. Five minus one means a four goes into the final answer. Now I can uh, uh, simplify that by dividing by two, four, six. I could divide this by two and this by two. Two, a four divided by two is two and six divided by two is three. And so the answer is two thirds, two thirds. All right, we only have one final problem. Let's take a look at 11 twentieths and we'll add to that three 20ths. Denominators are already the same. 20 goes into our answer. We can add 11 plus 3. Just count up. Uh, 12, 13, 14. 11 plus 3 is 14. So this is the answer. Can I, divi can I divide? Can I simplify? 14 20ths. Yes, you can divide top and bottom by 2. Those are both even numbers. And so what do you get? 14 divided by 2 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 20 divided by two is 10. So the answer here is seven tenths. So here we have now come to the end of uh, learning how to add and subtract fractions that already have like denominators, also called common denominator. So we've done it many times. If you have the same denominator, it goes and carries into the answer. And then we just add or subtract the numerators. Now, in the next lesson, we're going to learn what do we do if these bottom numbers really are not the same? What if they're not already the same? I'll give you a spoiler warning. What we have to do first is we have to make them the same. We have to make them the same. We have to get a common denominator before we can add or subtract. So follow me on to the next lesson. We'll conquer that skill right now. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.